Welcome to this Windows and Computer channel and uh, we're gonna have a little future of Windows video and a uh, questions and answer because we get a lot of those and we like to answer them in form of video so we take the time to just um, you know take them and I you know keep them in a file and when time comes, I just like to answer. It's uh, always nice. And this is a feature of this channel, by the way. Any question you have about Windows, uh, you know, ask away. And we do regular videos where we answer your questions. So there are some things today that we now actually have and know. First of all, the Insider uh, Rings have a new version to test, and it's from 20H2. What's 20H2? That's the version of Windows coming in the next half of 2020. So that means we are starting, insiders are starting in the fast ring to test out what will be available in the fall of 2020 as versions of Windows. So this is interesting also because what it's telling us is that 19041, which is the build that was being tested for 20H1 seems to um, maybe uh, be the one, the version that will be officially 20H1. So it's telling us that 20H1, the first version for 2020 to arrive, is pretty much ready. And we now, are, of course, testing the next version for later of 2020. So this is interesting. Now, once again, a lot of you are asking me, when are these released? Well, okay, let's first start with the start. November 2019 update was released in November, and it is still the version that people are getting. If you're on 1809, 1803, you're pretty much moving ahead to the November 2019 update now. Now, the next versions of Windows are because there's a new way of Microsoft doing things and that new way means that December and June are two of the months where things are supposed to be complete. So December 2019, we are now, it's pretty much complete for the first version of Windows for 2020. Now we're not going to get this in January. It's going to be released in April. It has version number 2004 and they will not release this before April of 2020. That means they're testing it for four months, a, a good four months, which is, I think, a good idea because, you know, if you want to avoid future problems, a lot of testing is pretty good usually. The next version, of course, will be feature complete in June. That means what Fast Ring insiders are getting today, build 19536, well, that needs to be completed and feature complete by June. What will we have as new features? It's too early to see all the new features, but already in the build today, there's a few new uh, stuff, a few new things that we talk about. So there's a lot that will be happening in the next few months, that's for sure. Now, a lot of you are saying, okay, if I'm on the November 2019 update, I have a question, how long can I stay here? And of course, answering another question that I still get a lot, people saying, is November 2019 update a good version of Windows? Uh, so yes, it's a good version of Windows. It is probably, and I've said it in the past, the version you want to be on if you're on Windows 10. It is the most stable of all. It is really, really rolling out well. And it is the May 2019 update with a service back on top. That's pretty much it. When will you have to update next? Well, every Windows 10 version for regular users has a 18-month cycle. That means that you're okay for more than a year before Microsoft is going to start pushing you towards some new version. So if you're on the November 2019 update, you're okay. You don't even have to have 20H1. It's going to be offered to you, but you don't have to install it. And you'll be offered 20H2. And once again, you don't have to install it. That means you can skip a whole year if you want 
of feature updates and only apply the cumulative, the regular cumulative updates and the security updates, which is probably a welcome change for everybody. Once again, I get a lot of people saying, you know, I see this Windows 11 thing. I even saw a few posts of people saying, you know what, they're going to jump. They're going to say, well, this is Windows 12. Forget it. Microsoft has no plans for any, any, any future version of Windows that is numbered 11 or 12. That means we are on the Windows 10 development branch, and that's what we're continuing to test and do. The next three versions of Windows 10 are already starting to be planned. It's Windows 10 still. It's an evolving system, and it will stay like that. Once again, will you know a major update be a major update? Well, what we see now is that with Bill 19536, we're getting two major updates next year. That's pretty much it. And that maybe is why you want to be on the November 2019 update. Not to suffer two major updates. Um, as for the rest, a lot of you have been saying, you know, I've got an old PC and I'm every time there's a new version, I'm scared that maybe my PC will be obsolete. You know, in the past couple of years, Microsoft hasn't changed much of the minimum requirements of windows 10 so for now there's like really nothing showing us that your five six seven year old pc running windows 10 is obsolete next year it's still being you know um upgraded there's a lot of people you know that uh, say oh microsoft just wants us to buy new pcs and stuff well if that were true you would not have 10 year old laptops running windows 10. you know microsoft yes tries to help the manufacturers in pushing you towards a new pc and you know the windows 7 nagging screen that they showed is actually that it's giving you telling you basically to buy a new pc but you don't have to a lot of windows 7 machines are running windows 10 quite well the thing is microsoft is much more of an operating system that can actually really run older hardware and microsoft itself has you know i mean i've got a the oldest pc i've got here is probably um nine or close to 10 years old actually um at least nine years old at least it's an old toshiba core 2 and it runs windows 10 it runs it quite well actually it's as fast as Windows 7 or even back then when I purchased it I had when was the system in 2000 when I purchased it it came with Windows Vista so this gives you an idea that PC ran Windows Vista and it runs Windows 10 so it gives you an idea that um, they're really really doing a great job at trying to keep even older hardware running so this is kind of cool. So um, future of Windows. And of course, if you have any questions, you can ask them below uh, in, the, in the video. And of course, I'll be taking note of that. And from time to time, we do, you know, uh, questions and answers. So uh, we're uh, moving ahead as a fast ring is getting a first 20 H2 build. And we're, uh, of course, looking at all of that and trying to trying to see, you know, where we're heading in the future with Windows. If you enjoy our videos, please subscribe, give us a thumbs up. Thanks for watching.